In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the eigenvalues of the map t raised to n. So if lambda is an eigenvalue of t, then we will show that lambda raised to n is eigenvalue of the map t raised to n. So the proof is very easy. Since lambda is eigenvalue of t, we are given that there exists a non-zero vector v bar such that t v bar is equal to lambda v bar. This means that lambda is the eigenvalue of the map t. So this means that t first power of t v bar is equal to lambda raised to 1 of v bar. It's the same statement. I'm just putting 1 there. So let me mark this as equation 1. Now we will assume that lambda raised to k is eigenvalue of the map t raised to k. That is t raised to k of v bar is equal to lambda raised to k of v bar. And now in general we will prove that we will show that t raised to k plus 1 of v bar will come out to be lambda raised to k plus 1 of v bar. So we are basically using what? We are using induction. So let us start with the left hand side of this. So LHS is t raised to k plus 1 v bar is equal to t raised to k plus 1 can be written as t into t raised to k v bar which is equal to t of t raised to k v bar which is equal to so by this equation 2 above t raised to k v bar can be replaced by lambda raised to k v bar t is a linear map so t raised to k can be replaced by lambda raised to k v bar since t is linear this lambda raised to k scalar can come outside the map which is equal to lambda raised to k t v bar but we know by equation 1 by equation 1 we know that t of v bar is equal to lambda v bar so that i will substitute here now so t v bar by so this was by equation 1 this was by equation 2 right this was by equation 2 now I'm using equation 1. I can replace t raised to t v by what? By lambda v bar. Because t raised to 1 v bar is lambda 1 v bar. And this gives me lambda raised to k plus 1 v bar. So we have proved that. So LHS and RHS are same. So we have proved that t raised to k plus 1 is into v bar is lambda is to k plus 1 v bar. So by induction, so whatever we have done is induction. So by induction, we can now say that in general, t raised to n v bar is equal to lambda is to n v bar. This holds for all natural numbers. Okay. A quick application of this result is that if lambda equal to 3 is eigenvalue of the map of a map T, then what is the eigenvalue of T raised to 5? The answer is clear that lambda raised to 5 must be the eigenvalue of t raised to 5 by above result. So means 3 raised to 5 is the eigenvalue of the map t raised to 5. If 
3 is the eigenvalue of t. Right. So if 3 is eigenvalue of t, then 3 raised to 5 will become the eigenvalue of t raised to 5 by the above proved result. That lambda raised to n becomes the eigenvalue of the map t raised to 